Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and we got a new bike. So Allison's decided uh, her triglycerides are a little high, and she's kind of turning over a new leaf. And she's in PA school right now, which is, in my opinion, probably the most intensive graduate program that you could be in. Um, they do like like two thirds of med school in the first year. They just, they just load so many topics. It's kind of crazy. She's pulling a lot of all-nighters, gotta put in a lot of work just to, you know, hang. Um, but that means that there is just not as much time for exercise. So the idea here is we're gonna set this bike up here in the living room. She's gonna be able to put her notes on her laptop uh, or her iPad right up here and just prop it up on the bike. And then she'll be able to get a lot more cardio in and kind of prioritize heart health as well as school. So my job in all of this was to do the research because I like to shop, I guess. Um, and I found a Soul Fitness uh, SB900. They have a uh, 2020 model and the 2021 model. So we got the newer model of this. Um, the reason we chose this, I was back and forth between this and the Peloton or the Nordic Track one. There is a nice uh, Diamondback a series of bikes. And I, I kind of like them all, but, uh, and I'm sure they're all fine. The biggest thing that I wanted was one, I wanted it to be super sturdy, and this was very, uh, you know, made of metal. And then two, I didn't really want the screen. I wanted to be able to track stuff, right, when we're doing our exercise, you know, uh, heart rate or whatever. Uh, but all of that, you can just, you know, you put on your heart rate monitor and it's fine. Um, the only thing that this one didn't have that I wanted it to have was wattage, because power output could be pretty cool. Um, but well, we can just, approximate that with distance traveled as long as the resistance is pretty uh, set. Um, the other thing that I really liked about this is I don't have to plug it in. It doesn't have to be <laughs> plugged into a wall. And that's, you know, that's part of what you get when you don't buy a giant screen on your bike. So we're pretty excited about this. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go through an unboxing today. Um, no reviews, just kind of show you all what this thing looks like, what it's like when you open it up. Uh, I will say two things for the shipping. Uh, it came in on a freight truck. They had to call and schedule delivery in a time window uh, between 9 and 1 a.m. or 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. for us. Uh, it came in around noon. And uh, it's kind of heavy. It's not too bad. Uh, I mean, you, you probably saw me in the intro there flipping it down the hall. It's really not too bad as long as it doesn't slide on the slick floors. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest issue is just that the box was filthy and we didn't want to totally ruin our floors here. Um, so let's get this thing opened up. We got little, uh, got tape here, uh, lots of staples in the box. Those straps were nice and sturdy, that was just snipped. Um, I'm thinking we're probably not going to try to save the box, but I'm going to save it just in case, because I know we'll, we'll be moving again here in at least the next year, or about the next year. Um, I did lay down some cardboard on the floor just because the box was so filthy. And I was thinking we might be able to open it up like a book, but it's not looking too good. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to uh, just yank it all out. I am relatively certain this is gonna be much harder if I try to save the box, but let's see what we can do. I'm pulling stuff from here, but it's just coming. It's coming out, but it's not sliding the uh, styrofoam at all. Okay, so I have a little, uh, something to grab. I won't call them handles, but something to grab under here. And as long as I keep the box still, it's coming out. 
You think I could do this like a tablecloth? So unless you're kind of a meatball, uh, I guess like I am, um, I, would, I would recommend this being a two-person job. But there it is! Look at that! So in the corner down here we had evidence of some cracking. That might be just from me uh, tilting it, but I know it's been through a lot of shipping. Um, but you can see there's these little plastic things here that look like they're taking care of it. All right, well, let's try to open something up. Uh, there's a lot of taped stuff in here. Probably gonna need to cut the tape. This looks like handlebars. Tools for assembly, so I don't think you're supposed to need any tools. Though having some won't hurt, might make life easier. Okay, so that was the two halves of the styrofoam was just taped on, taped together. require some audio post-processing. All right, I mean, this is the bike though. I, it's covered by a bag, you probably can't see it very well, but this is it. Have I, <laughs> have I seen the instructions yet? I'm the type of person who follows instructions and reads them because I'm a rule follower. Okay, so there's stuff underneath on the other side, and here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Knife back. Owner's manual, SB 900, indoor cycle. Please read the entire thing before using. Um, cool. So there's registration process, um, hardware steps, stabilizer tubes. Okay, and we're just going right into it here. Um, so it looks like first we put on, on the frame, we put the uh, stabilizer tubes on the bottom, uh, stabilizer cover, then the console, then the handlebars, then the pedals, then the tablet holder, and yeah, that seems relatively straightforward, and sure it's not going to be quite as easy as we might think. Um, it, one, of the, one of the reasons that I wasn't too worried about not having a screen on it is because they, a lot of apps now just, they have their own apps. Uh, you just put it on your iPad or whatever and play it there. And you just put that up in the tablet holder and now you've got your Nordic Track bike or your Peloton bike, but this is a $900 bike instead of a, I think it was about a grand. Um, 
instead of a $2,100 or $2,400 bike. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, tablet holder. Okay. I found another box in the box. Water bottle holder times two. Okay. And then probably the water bottle holder holder. We'll see, I guess. We got some more stuff over here too. This looks like the uh, vacuum cleaner attachment. Cool. Cool. I'm joking. So, uh, I guess to get going on building this out, I've got to get the tube so I can set it upright. But the bike is pretty much together. It's not like I got to screw the wheel on. It's all right here. Um, cool. Let me get it stood up so you can see it at least. And then, uh, I probably won't go through the whole assembly process. Uh, we'll leave that for another video. I'm over here like, I don't think I found the stuff for the first step yet. The little crossbars for the legs. That's because it's on the other side of the styrofoam. There's one. Get this out of the way. And there's the other one, and it's nice and metal, so I'm not worried about it falling apart. It is hollow, but I'm not too worried about that. I think it feels nice and sturdy. Let me clean up the area and lay everything out for you. All right, check that out. It's the Soul SB900. Uh, I found when I was taking it out of there, the, the I think it was the seat, but maybe it was this. No, I think it was this actually. The handlebar thing isn't locked. So I was trying to lift it out of there and it was just moving the handlebar thing. Uh, so I had to find other places to grab. I got uh, pretty good holds on here. I did try to grab the wheel at one point and that obviously just spun on me. Um, and I got a good grab right here in the, the center bar. Um, but that works super well. Can't wait to put this together and give it, uh, give it some due diligence. Um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos. Uh, stay tuned for the assembly video and maybe a little review too to see, you know, is this worth the price that we paid, I mean, it was about $1,000. Uh, that is not cheap. This is not a cheap bike. There are much cheaper options on Amazon. So if you're not too worried about it, you're not, you know, it, for me, it's really important that it's nice and sturdy. Um, Cause I just, I hate when a bike is rattling side to side, especially if I'm gonna bike and put my phone up there. Like I don't want it shaking cause I don't want it falling. So we, we overspent a little bit um, hoping that this will last us a really long time. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you need something else to watch, I've got uh, mobility circuits that you might like. It's called Limber Up with Lance. Check out the playlist.